see. Um, We're going to do the scanner test with the RTY. Let's see, I can zoom in my camera with this scan speed, but they'll make for, for the faster scan speeds. Oh, I love this animation. Oh, it doesn't move, huh? It doesn't move, no. I, Just I, a picture. I have to look for some animation. So, so cool. A lot of people have never played it, 25, I guess. So. Oh, it's nice. Uh, now quick show is easier. <laughs> well, yeah, we're finding frames. Yeah. If you store everything, yeah. you don't put it in a workspace. It's very difficult to find. It's very cool and so, uh, Let me see. Hmm. Okay, we're going to uh, show you the beautiful RTY Nano. Inside is 10 watt 638 nanometer, 10 watt 530 nanometer, that's the OPSL green, and 10 watt blue. Okay. So it's a really 30 watt output power. Yes. It's quite yeah. heavy, yeah? It's very heavy. It's very heavy. <laughs> 67 kilograms, something like that. 46. 46, okay. Yes. 46. That's all. That's still a um, Okay. Yeah, so do you want to compare it to some other projectors or do you want to show? Because it's a bit hard to compare 30 watts to say, yes, 5 watts or <laughs> even 1 watt. Yeah, so it's, it's not easy to show it and compare it. Eh? No, not really. I also, not easy to see it on the camera how bright it is. Eh? Uh, you, not really. Because then again, if I turn on the filters, you can see the colors really well. You can't see. It definitely would not be a projector I would be using in house. Uh, and it's a little bit loud, but it's it's not it's not a bad projector for for an OP so green. It it actually does blend properly. I guess they made the green a bit thicker and then the red thicker, so the red reaches way further with the green. Um, so it's definitely not an indoor projector, but uh, for outdoors, I bet it's pretty impressive. Uh, and you know what the noise is, what we're hearing? It's a uh, moisture filter, yeah. Yeah, the special uh, uh, ventilator for preventing moisture on the output window. But if it's waterproof, then there's no fans blowing across, it's just a heat sink, I guess, here. Oh yeah, it's just one big heat sink down here. Yeah, it's a heat sink. Because I can see right through the entire grating over here, and I can see the other side. So there's a very no electronics down here. Maybe a little temperature sensor. Maybe, probably even not. So it's like 50% heat sink. It's probably 50% laser pointer. Probably the entire half yeah. is, is heat sink. It's for the cooling. All power over here and driver. And so what do you think of the back? Hmm. Well, I haven't seen these waterproof connectors before on them, and it's actually kind of cool. The, so only, on the only pet peeve I would have, just looking at it, is actually, no, it doesn't have, it doesn't have a daisy chain on it, which is, uh, you know, I, I guess because it's a 30 watt projector, it uses a lot of power, eh, I, I, I don't like that too much. What is nice is the Ethernet controller. The only thing I would say is the fact that there's still an ILA uh, connector on the back. Like you, you prefer like an integrated FB4? Yeah, that's an option. That's it's possible. an option. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and, and the interlock, interlock 
it's a bit strange. Like, why an, an, uh, a network interlock? You know, why not a DMX XLR interlock? Because it's a lot more sturdy, mm -hmm. you know, than, than an Ethernet than connector. Plug, yeah. I don't like that. I don't like the Ethernet. And this is waterproof, but this I'm not yeah. sure. And then, and then second as well, no, it probably is because there's not a lot of power going through this thing. But what I don't like is, yeah, the interlock is the same connector as the interlock for the controller. Mm -hmm. Someone fired 60 once. And Crazy. Then, and then the brakes started blowing. Uh, like it crashes, yeah. Then what red? And now ten what green? And now ten what blue? Even with the F before, I've heard it's a nice it's a nice thing that you have Ethernet, but the fact that you have a, an Ethernet connector on the back, those connectors, if they you know carry the weight of an entire F before, they can they can fail. Mm -hmm. And yeah, mm. but aside from that, it's not it's not a, it's not a bad projector. I mean, it's just very heavy. It's very heavy, yes. Yeah. And of course, if, if it weren't for that, the red. Uh, is diode, you know, if OPSL wasn't red, it wasn't so expensive, I would say, yeah, OPSL red needs to be in there. Because it, I think that's what makes them, this mirror so huge, the red. Because I can see, uh, I should be careful of that, I can see that the red's the majority of the mirror in the bottom. So that's probably what's slowing down the scanners too. Mm -hmm. It's a big mirror, right? Huh? Yeah, it's a very big mirror. It's also a big beam. Yeah. So what's inside of here, the CTHP, the uh, CTAP? Okay, yeah, okay, so that's, that's the next. Yeah, I, I like the CTHPs. They're actually really reliable. They prove, they've proved themselves throughout the years. But it's, what is it? EMS, or no, CT621H. Okay, yeah. Which they say 60, uh, 60 kbps at 8 degrees at those mirror sizes better than the other ones. So it's still really good. I used it in uh, the Gate Bike in Amsterdam last weekend. I will show you a small uh, video uh, in the review too. Uh, and you see the middle laser in a big room, 55 meters long. This laser is in the middle making some hot beams. It's, uh, it's very beautiful. It's a big powerful laser. Yeah, you must use it outdoor, not in a small studio like this. But if you want big power for outdoor and you want to project something on a very large building, this is a beautiful laser to use. And uh, it's
it's an OPSL green and the red and blue are diode lasers but if I look what they are making, the lines, it's like almost the same size, it's beautiful yeah nice, the nano Six kilos. <laughs> 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 